He's a proud business owner here in Surrey County. Tomorrow will be exactly three years to the exact date that I open. And a place Edward Farmer has called home for over 20 years. It's a nice close-knit area. The county's also home to something else. I really don't really think about it. The Surrey Power Station, generating over 1,500 megawatts of electronic power from its two nuclear reactors. I've been to the plant before for pre-bids and things like that. But a recent report from the Nuclear Proliferation Prevention Project at the University of Texas at Austin says all 107 U.S. nuclear reactors are vulnerable to terrorists. Don't worry about things that I can't control. The study highlights 11 that are most at risk, with eight reactors deemed unprotected from attacks from the sea, which includes Surrey. It's not something that concerns me. I mean, uh, our, our armed forces do a really good job, I think, protecting the waters out there. Anything could happen any given day, but by that power a nuclear plant being there as long as it has been, we never had any problem with it. We contacted Dominion, the nuclear operator, about the findings. A spokesman tells us in part, quote, we understand that safety and security require constant vigilance. Our nuclear generation stations, including North Anna and Surrey Power Stations, are among the most robust and well-protected structures in the world today. They do have good security here, and that's most important to know that.